Hey everyone, welcome to this room review at the Akumau Bay Beach and Wellness Resort. If you find this video helpful, please remember to subscribe and like to support the channel. And make sure to check out the three other videos that I created about this resort. The Akumau Bay Beach and Wellness Resort Tour video, the Akumau Bay Beach and Wellness Resort Dining and Food video, as well as the beach walk video. Now let's jump right into it. Our room was located in building number four, room number 4106 to be exact. There are four different buildings at this resort. And at the end of this video, I'll show you buildings one right through to four. Our room had a king size bed and let me tell you, it was super comfortable. We had no complaints whatsoever with respect to the bed. And in my opinion, that's a really important part of your stay in your room. The balcony had a jacuzzi tub and an awesome view of the ocean. You could hear the waves crashing at night if you left the door open a bit. There were also two seats and a small table on the balcony so you could enjoy a morning coffee or a drink. Note that the view from some of the rooms in buildings number one and two could be slightly obstructed by the pool areas. Our room also had a mini fridge, which every day had two beer in it, soft drinks, water, a small bag of chips and a chocolate bar. The mini fridge was restocked every day. There was also a coffee station above the mini fridge. The room also had a coffee table and a small sofa area. The room was cleaned every day if you chose to have it cleaned and there was towel art on a regular basis. Here you can see they actually included a fresh flower in the towel art. Uh, unfortunately, Tilly the turtle was not included with the room. On the wall facing the bed was a television. Being straight up about it, it could have been a bit larger. However, this is a wellness resort and you're likely not gonna spend that much time watching TV. There really are a lot of activities to do and the food, which is absolutely awesome, uh, will keep you busy. Make sure to check out the food video for a thorough overview of the dining and food. There are power outlets located beside the bed. There's a laptop size safe in every room and there's plenty of closet space for your personal belongings. The shower worked really well. There was plenty of hot water and the sink area had all of the amenities you'd expect with shampoo, body lotion, soap, all the typical things you'd expect in a higher end resort. The towels were good quality. There were also bathrobes and slippers to enjoy. And it just made the overall experience really nice. It is my understanding that they are starting to upgrade some of the rooms further I understand that the rooms in building number one have already been refurbished. At the end of this video, I will share my overall impressions of the resort. Please, if you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to leave them in the comments and I will respond. I should also mention that the bathroom door has a gap at the top. So bring your magic drops if you're into that kind of thing. Our room was located directly beside the yoga studio. And even though we're not hugely into yoga, we really enjoyed the yoga classes that were offered. Make sure to check these out. Don't be afraid if you don't have a lot of experience, just enjoy the stretching and have fun with it. On the opposite side of the resort, you will find building number one. This building has the second largest pool located directly in front of it. 
Here we have building number two, which has the main pool located directly in front of it. Both buildings number one and building number two are located in front of the beach area where you can easily access snorkeling. Snorkeling is available in front of buildings number three and four, but there are quite a few rocks there and I suggest that you proceed with caution. Also, building number two is located right in front of a cocktail bar, um, which is also a sushi bar. And the main entertainment and restaurant area is located smack in the middle of everything. So it's about a three minute walk from building number four. And I would suggest a one minute walk from buildings number one and two. At this point in time, I'd like to share my overall impressions of this resort. We really enjoyed our stay here. We enjoyed it so much that we would like to return. There are not many all-inclusive resorts uh, that we've wanted to return to. Let me be clear on that. The food at the resort was excellent and the service was outstanding. Kumal Bay Beach and Wellness Resort is a smaller resort. It has approximately 310 rooms. The entertainment takes place largely between 7 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. After 11, 11.30, things start to get pretty quiet. There are some activities that take place during the daytime there's volleyball, there's salsa dancing, there's cornhole, um, bocce ball, many different things to do. There's also excellent snorkeling directly in front of the resort. You can use a mask and a life vest for free for one hour per day. There's also an art class yoga classes and an education session about the turtles um, which you can find swimming in the ocean directly in front of the resort although the rooms are not the most modern i do understand that they are upgrading them and despite the fact that it wasn't the most modern room we would definitely go back it was clean, spacious, the bed was comfortable, the hot water worked without any issues, and the view on the balcony was second to none. Again, if you have any questions about the resort whatsoever, please leave them in the comments and I will respond. Check out the other videos on the resort that are found on my YouTube channel. More importantly, Enjoy your holiday wherever you choose to go. Peace.